welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I wanted to share some of my tips and tricks that really help me to have a healthy routine while I'm traveling. I feel sometimes it can be really hard in like, how are you sticking to a routine? Where are you just enjoying yourself? How can you also make yourself feel good and kind of finding that balance? I would say over the last few years, I've traveled so much to so many different places, so many different time zones, I have finally been able to kind of create a routine that has really worked for me. So I wanted to share some of the products that I've been using, some techniques that I've been using and other like little tips and tricks and stuff. I think the number one tip, and I know this is so boring, is making sure you stay hydrated. Whether you're traveling by plane or by train or by bus, by the car, staying hydrated is so, so important. It will help with your hunger, it will help with your skin because often we feel dehydrated while traveling and kind of forget to drink. So I really love bringing my big Stanley bottle, as you guys know, the only downside is that I can't close it so I can't put it in my bag, but usually I just have it in my hand. I also really like this new color. And another little tip to kind of make the hydration like more enjoyable and also just more beneficial is by adding electrolytes. This for me has been such a game changer when I'm going into long flights or when I just come off a flight. One, I drink more throughout the flight and after I just feel I just get more of that hydration back. And the ones that I really like, I have my big wellness pouch right here. This will be the magic box. I'm gonna take everything out. So I personally really like these little packages from the brand Element. This is the flavor mango chili. It's definitely not for everyone. I love it. And the citrus salt, which I think is a little bit more of a neutral taste. They honestly have so many different flavors, but it just makes your water taste so much better. When you're not buying Element or other types of brands, the only thing I would look out for that some of them are so full of sugar. So just be aware, just read the label and see which ones to get. I really like these so much. They have sodium, potassium, and magnesium, what also like helps you kind of relax, which I feel during travel we honestly kind of need. But truly hydration is absolute key, whether you are hanging by the pool all day, by the beach, or busy traveling throughout the city, or maybe you're drinking alcohol, hydration, number one. Then number two, I would say preparation. I feel this is not even just when you're traveling, but honestly also when you're trying to kind of stick to a healthy routine in daily life. A lot of things can happen. Schedules get really busy. I really love to bring healthy snacks to wherever I am going or when I'm traveling. And I will always do this because when I think I'm like, oh, I will just find something somewhere. Really most airports and most train stations and buses and whatever do not have have really healthy options. Of course, there are always like examples. I've actually seen a couple airports now coming with way more healthy options, which is really amazing. But I think it's just also so important to think about, you know, your food and nutrition while you're traveling not only to be healthy, but it just also makes you feel better and your mood will be so much better. I think a lot of people truly underestimate that. And honestly, I feel you should also enjoy yourself and when you're out and about, you know, enjoy that pasta, enjoy the pizza. But I would say don't use that on like shitty airport food. Like if you are reaching to more food that feed the soul. That's kind of how I always describe it. Like go for the ones that make a memory out of it when you're grabbing ice cream or when you're out and about with friends or with family or doing something fun and not out of necessity on like an airport because there was nothing to eat. Also, it depends a little if you're traveling with like friends or alone or whatever, but sometimes what I like to do before I go somewhere to a new city, I mean, this is truly one of my hobbies as well. I love looking up like new places like restaurants and cafes and like I make a little list and it's not particular to be healthy but it's just I always love trying out local cuisines and stuff but then sometimes I also enjoy having a salad for lunch or going to a nice little cafe in the morning so sometimes the prep for me is already like I'm looking for nice 
cafes and restaurants in advance before going somewhere. I feel that has really helped me, but it's also something I just like truly enjoy. Even sometimes I put on my Instagram stories like, hey, do you guys have recommendations? And honestly, all of you always come with the best places for me to go. So I don't know, I really enjoy that and I feel it also really, really helps me. For little snacks that I bring on the go, I love these little beefy sticks. These are from Chomp. A lot of protein, nine grams of protein, no sugar. We love these, helps balance like blood sugar levels. When reaching to snacks, I often try to stay away from a lot of sugary snacks because often I just get even more hungry or I want to snack even more. So these are really great. A um, little pack of almond butter. You can eat this with like an apple or put it on a little toast or like a little celery. So often they have these like, I feel in the States they do, you can buy like charcuterie, I would say. You know, it's like little carrots and uh, cucumbers and stuff. So almond butter is really, really nice. Also love like a little dark chocolate. These are almond butter cups. But there's so many different snacks that you can bring like nuts or some fruits or I love avocados crackers, rice crackers, seed crackers, all of the above are amazing snack that you can bring. So yeah, I feel those are really, really helpful. Okay, so the next is taking your vitamins and supplements. Now, obviously my whole lineup might not work for you and that's completely fine because, you know, we all work different, but I do wanted to share some of the things that I always bring with me. I usually don't bring everything because I have a lot of stuff in my cabinet, but I do wanted to share just some of the key ones that just really, really help. I feel everyone should bring a probiotic even while traveling because a probiotic really helps support your gut health, which is kind of connected to your overall health. Also really your digestion, which I always feel is one of the most biggest thing that is so uncomfortable when you're traveling and I think so many girls so many women just struggle with this while traveling like either not being able to go to the bathroom feeling bloated after food and that is completely normal I feel we're all going through that I feel go through that like I often feel just so bloated for almost like no reason so grab a good probiotic I like this one from seat ritual also has a pretty good one I also love traveling traveling with AG1, you guys know that you always see this in my travel videos. This is kind of a daily nutrition. So it is one supplement, but it contains like all 75 minerals and vitamins in one little package. So this way I don't need to bring my whole freaking lineup. Max is obsessed with it. And then I also really like these from Aloe. These are the immunity rescue shots. So if you're feeling like a little lower energy, these are made with elderberry, which is amazing for your immunity. I also have these in vitamin C that I often bring. Actually see if I have them in here. Oh, I do. There we go. Okay, so I often bring both of these. And then I've actually recently, I don't think I've I shared this with you yet. I've been starting taking digestive enzymes. So it's actually interesting because in Japan, we spent time with a friend of ours who is a biochemist and does a lot of speeches around gut health and longevity and all of that. And like is really deep in the science of it. A month before that, I was also having dinner here with a fr another friend of ours in LA, who's kind of in that same field. And I both asked if there are like certain supplements that you think everyone should be taking, they both said digestive enzymes. And that is basically because a lot of us do not have the enzymes to break down or nutrition properly and or food and actually are not able to absorb the nutrients your food is giving. I thought this was such an interesting concept because let's say you're starting to eat very healthy, but let's say your body's not absorbing it properly, your body's not receiving all the nutrients and also obviously anything to support digestion. I'm always here for and I'm packing for my trip now to New York and I'm 100% bringing these. I found the brand Bio Optimizers. They had so many good reviews online and these were also the one that got recommended to me. So digestive enzymes coming with me as well. Talking about like bloating and stuff. So 
I feel I bloat really quickly when I'm traveling and some of the things that kind of like help me when I, for example, straight come off a flight is taking a really cold shower for a couple minutes. As much like I love all the supplements and stuff, there are little tricks that you can do that are just honestly for free and anyone can do. And not even when you're traveling, even when you're at home. Sometimes I lay down on the ground and I put my feet up the wall. So after a long day of walking or when I come straight off a flight, like when I put my legs up it just really helps with my blood circulation which just feels incredible and also sometimes I give myself a little like lymphatic massage that I've shared in another video and like on my belly or like on my legs I will just put some oil and then just like I don't know almost like get the water retention out and sometimes even around my stomach just kind of you know get everything moving a little bit. So yeah, those are some tips and tricks that I feel are free, everyone can implement into their life. And then when it comes to nutrition, so I think this is where a lot of people have a hard time finding balance. I always say that when it comes to food and a healthy diet, I always believe eating foods that nourish the body so healthy foods a lot of fiber protein complex carbs all of that and then foods that nourish the soul because you need to be able to enjoy as well and make memories so it's kind of like okay where are you gonna find that balance there are a couple things that really help me and we already talked about the preparation so when you're actually traveling like bringing your own food and snacks is honestly going to be your biggest friend you're gonna feel so much better your digestion is gonna be better you're gonna more energy and also your overall mood is just going to be so much better and then let's say you're staying in an airbnb or even in a hotel room i always like to go immediately to a supermarket close by and just get some fresh snacks because most healthy foods are fresh things so i will get avocados some fruits maybe some crackers some like nuts maybe some dark chocolates and i just have this in my room because i know that whenever i will come back to the room or maybe late at night i will get little hungry or i will crave a little snack it's just so good to set yourself up already there and just get the healthy stuff and it will make it so much easier so when you're feeling snacky you can like honor that hunger or honor the little snack feeling and just have good options i'm not about like completely eliminating but always about substituting it for the good stuff also when it comes to the meals like i do try to prioritize protein with each meal breakfast lunch and dinner and make that the center of my meal so let's say dinner I will have pasta, but maybe I share the pasta with someone else and also order a protein or I have a veggie starter and a protein starter and then I will have the pasta after. And actually the order you eat your food in also really affects your blood sugar levels and this is something I learned as well and I've actually felt really good. So like I will always start with veggies or a little salad first. This is not only amazing to balance your blood sugar levels but I also feel if you get in a rhythm of that no matter what you will always get your fiber in and your healthy nutrients and minerals and stuff that your body needs. So I will always have a little salad or I share a salad or share some veggies and then I will have, I don't know, my pasta or I will have a protein. But I also try to prioritize protein in the morning because I know when I make that decision in the morning, it just like sets me up for the whole day and it just makes me feel good and then I know I have energy throughout the day. So that's kind of like how I approach nutrition throughout traveling. At home, I eat very clean I would say and healthy but when I'm traveling I also want to enjoy just local foods and stuff you know maybe a little bit more sweets and just like celebrate a little bit life and I think that is important to to find that balance another little tip there is to keep your portion sizes in mind so just enjoy ever, anything you want but look at the portions maybe again the pasta you shared with someone or maybe instead of four ice cream scoops you have two ice cream scoops and you're still able to enjoy the moment you're able to enjoy your ice cream and like have fun with it i think keeping that portion control in mind will help you to feel more consistent because when you overdo it it's like let's say you have like five scoops of ice cream and you actually 
physically don't feel good. Like maybe your digestion or your mood and you're like, oh, I like overate a lot. It can sometimes just be harder to kind of stick back to that balance. So I always try to keep portion sizes in mind and just enjoy everything with moderation. Then my next step is prioritize sleep. And I know this can be sometimes really hard, especially when you're fighting with jet lag or maybe you are out partying with friends a lot. But I feel the sleep is honestly the base of everything. When I am going to bed later when I'm traveling, I really try to get like seven or eight hours of sleep at most. I do have a couple things that I bring also again in my wellness pouch for sleep. Sometimes when I'm in a flight or whatever, it can be disrupted a little or off course with jet lag. So the first thing before I love taking or bringing my CBD relief roller. This one is an essential oil. I really like taking this in a flight because it's not only like there to calm your nervous system, but I also just feel when I feel very anxious, which happens often while traveling, the essential oil kind of calms me down and it just comes in such a quick little roller. So I really like it. Also always take magnesium in daily life, but also when I am traveling and I feel this has been one of the most impactful ways to really help calm down my nervous system. And for anyone who's been with me on the channel for a long time knows that that's something I've been really working on. I like these from Moon Juice. These are the Berry Calm. So they have L-theanine that really relax the body and is amazing for relaxation or sleep. Magnesium is truly truly the best i love it i also take this at home but not in a travel bag and then sometimes if i do need to really sleep and let's say i'm jet lagged i also really like these from highline wellness these are the cbd gummies and they also have a little bit of melatonin in there and i also have the equilibria ones that i've shared on the channel before that i also really enjoy and then obviously bringing a sleep mask if needed Sometimes you don't know if there's like curtains and stuff and your body really has a biological clock. And as soon as the sun comes up and your eyes and your body absorb sunlight, you know, serotonin starts to produce and will slowly wake up. And even in the night when it's dark, you know, melatonin will be developed by the body. So we start to fall asleep. Sometimes when our rhythm is off, fighting with jet lag, having a sleep mask is truly amazing. I honestly sleep almost through everything, but I do need to always bring this for Max. Personally, I like a silk one because it doesn't rub on the skin. You know, when you have cotton, sometimes it can be a little rough, but a nice silky, a nice silky little thing. My last tip I want to dive deep into is movement. So I think we all know that movement goes so much further beyond fitness and how we are performing. It truly affects our mood, how we're feeling. Let me kind of just go into like my personal experience when it comes to movement. So obviously for my job, I move quite a bit. I work out like five times a week. This is a mix of strength training and Pilates. And I walk a lot because obviously I have katsu. And I noticed that during travel, I walk a lot more, whether that is around the cities or to dinner or just things like that. So I rely a lot on walking. And while I'm traveling, I do not want to stress myself out about getting all my movement in. And this is the one place I let go a little bit, but I do know that moving my body makes me feel so good. So I do always try to find a hotel with a gym, but sometimes I can't find this. I kind of rely a lot on the walking and then if I can find the gym, I'm aiming personally for working out three times a week. If I have a gym, and I go to the actual gym, I like to lift heavy and I like to lift heavy weights because I'm reducing the amount of times I work out through the week. I almost want to do a little bit more of an intense workout to just get really my muscles going to really maintain like that muscle strength. So I will lift pretty heavy with weights if I have the opportunity to. I won't do any cardio or use any of the machines or do incline walking and stuff because I feel I walk already so much throughout 
often traveling. But let's say I do not have a gym, then I will opt for a Pilates workout that I can just do in the hotel room. And again, this is something that I just like love doing. I love moving my body. I actually created a really big playlist for travel friendly workouts on Soul Sync Body. It's called Girlies on the Go playlist, which I will link here as well. We, by the way, have a seven day free trial. So let's say you're traveling and you kind of want to experience the playlist, you can just sign up and try it out for seven days. I actually did that in Barcelona as well. And sometimes I also just prefer like a little room workout if I don't have a lot of time because like going to the gym and stuff, it's like more of a hassle, but it is truly amazing what you can do just from your bedroom with a little mat. I usually travel with a resistance band and sometimes depending if I have room, I love my Bala Bangles weights that I can put either on my arms or on my ankles and just get a full body workout in. But that's kind of how I approach like fitness. If I have the opportunity to go to the gym, I lift heavy, I do a heavy workout because I work out less throughout the week. If I don't, then I will do Pilates workouts or do that in addition. So maybe two gym workouts and then a Pilates workout and do a little hotel room workout. One thing I do always do when I come straight of a flight or a long time of sitting, because you're sitting, you're starting to deactivate your glutes and stuff. I personally really like to activate them. So I will always do a couple of mobility exercises to kind of like activate the glutes again. So then when I'm walking, I'm actually using my glutes again or like doing a little stretch with my arms, like with the foam roller, like it's always my favorite. I travel with my foam roller almost everywhere. I actually have this thing from Amazon and it's truly, truly the best. It's like if you have tight shoulders or tight back, this this is it. Um, so yeah, these were some of my travel tips. I hope they were helpful. I hope you learned something new. And if you have any questions around staying healthy, staying on track while traveling or some of the products that I personally love using, let me know in the comments down below. And then for next week, I'll bring you with on a New York City vlog. So I'll see you there.